the NFL player that wears traditional African wear to football games. His name, Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa. Today we're going to go through the top 10 looks which has the Western press asking what he's wearing next and the African press thanking him for uplifting his ancestors' tradition. Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa is an American football linebacker. He plays for the NFL team Cleveland Browns. Jeremiah grew up in Hampton, Virginia with his Floridian mom and Ghanaian dad. Despite being born in the United States, Owusu Koromoa tries to embody his ancestors every day. Let's have a look at how he has become the poster child for African representation by going through our top 10 favorite African looks from Jeremiah's game days this season. Coming in at number 10 is the traditional Ghana embroidered kente look, dubbed the Obama kente fabric. It is so colorful and vibrant, it really catches the eye. The name Obama Kente was given to it when Obama, yes, the former US president, was gifted it when he visited Ghana in 2009. This Kente is normally put on for occasions. Big personalities, like the King of Ashanti, sometimes puts it on as per the occasion. This Kente can also be called Otumfo, after the King of Ashanti himself, a fabric fit for royalty. Coming in at number nine, Jeremiah's second look takes direct inspiration from the Sahara nomads, where Hawuza men of the far north traditionally wear a long tunic and long embroidered robes. There are many names for it, but most know this attire as Dara or Bubu in this region. It's paired with a head wrap with the appearance of both a veil and a turban. This unique head wrap style is said to originate from the belief that the head wrapping and face covering wards off evil spirits. But most can also agree that its basic function is to protect against the sun as well as the frequent sandstorms of the region. Talk about practicality and chic. This particular attire is common among the Tuaregs, Fulani, Hausa people, covering the northern Nigeria, Mali, Niger, Senegal, and Mauritania. Coming in at number eight, Jeremiah pulls up next with his Senegalese look called the Inya. The idea behind this look from the Biafor people of Senegal is the use and the stitch of different fabrics coming from different areas within Africa. It's a fun multicolor clothing which helps with the visual representation of the story of Joseph and the multicolor coat gifted by his father in the Bible. This look really takes on an artistic side of African wear because it's fun, colorful, and it reflects the beauty in African fabrics. Coming in at number seven, Jeremiah wears this checkered look, which is somewhat poetic in the sense that Jeremiah is of Ghanaian descent and as the Ghanaian, the pattern screams Ghana must go bag. A reach, perhaps? <laughs> but it was a phrase coined by the Nigerian people towards the Ghanaian migrants as they left in a very specific patterned plastic travel bag. Jeremiah seems to have a concoction of symbolism within this look. The head wrap and face cover from the traveling Sahara nomad makes a return, and he displays a Ghana Adinkra symbol on his chest called Jinyami which means except for God. It's from the idea that people should not fear anything except for God, or only God can. This fit really comes with some knowledge and a harmonious collaboration of different cultures, including his very own. Coming in at number six, Jeremiah shows up in this men's mini abada, bubu kaftan style, which seems to be recognized as the traditional wear of the Yoruba people called ashoke, paired with a matching filler cap. Material aside though, this particular look has its own unique touch in a few countries. And just like the Senegal, Gambian, Nigerian, and Ghanaian Jollof Wars, we're not getting involved. So if this look is similar to the one in your tribe and in your country, represent that flag in the comments below. Coming in at number five is this forest green Fort Abada, paired with black smart shoes and to match the black shirt and tie. Put in a little twist to this look. Abada is a traditional robe of the Yoruba men of West Africa. It comes with an inner cloth of different lengths and bottoms in the form of native trousers. Paired with a native cap, like you see here, Abada is somewhat similar to the Grand Bubu or Babaringa, but it's different in looks, style, shape, fabrics, and material used, and are quite distinguishable. Abada usually features native embroidery, but there'll be variations based on the country you come from. Coming in at number four, the inspo for this look continues with the purple Babaringa and Bubu style attire. You can also class this as the Nigerian Abada in shape. The look is usually worn by elders, traditional and religious leaders, and other individuals in the society. 
It became widespread amongst West African Muslims with the migration of Hawuza, Fulani, long distant traders and Islamic preachers in and around Muslim regions of West Africa. Coming in at number three, representing Mali with this next look, Jeremiah comes as a blank canvas of just tailored white African suit, but is draped with Bogolafini fabric. Bogolafini or Bogolon is a handmade Malian cotton fabric, traditionally dyed with fermented mud. It has an important place in traditional Malian culture. Modern day production of this are simplified, often applied by stencil, painted in black on a yellow background, like the one Jeremiah is wearing. He made the fabric do all the talking and his caption and picture let us know his intention to highlight this culture. Coming in at number two is this beautiful kente and a very tight knit woven design. The pattern seems more intentional and intricate here, which forms a uniformity with this large piece of draped fabric. The cap Jeremiah is wearing has the embroidery of the African continent, as well as the Near East countries. It is quite different to pair this look with a smart shoe, but I do love that he is experimenting and adding his own mark on this look. In an interview, he said he's normally compared to the movie Coming to America a lot, but he embraces that sentiment because if somebody jokes about you, that shows you they acknowledge you. You can joke all you want. He knows that you can see him and that's all that matters to him. Mission accomplished. The moment you've all been waiting for. In at number one, the last and our favorite look of the season so far is this super king-like regal attire, representing Ghana's favorite pastime. They say in Ghana, Saturdays are for weddings and funerals. And in this case, due to the blackened material draped around Jeremiah, this is to do with death. Jeremiah pays homage to his culture, but emphasizes the positives of death, with this caption stating, with every death, there's a rebirth. This particular attire looks so powerful on Jeremiah that it has the ladies submitting the application for marriage in the linebacker's comment section, letting him know that they can cook. But just a heads up, ladies, he doesn't eat anything that has head or eyes. So start thinking about them vegan meals. When asked about wearing African garments to game days, he mentioned that it stems from the power to define. He wanted to define what African garments is on his own platform to define what he wanted to be perceived as. And there you have it. Top 10 show-stopping looks by Jeremiah on game days. He's flying a lot of African countries flag up high by just the garment he wears to his games. And if this is only the beginning, we're in for a treat. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exclusive content from Chop Daily.